Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Chiyama Tech TV. I am Chiyama and today we will continue to learn coding! So excited! We will continue coding with Moana. Remember guys, it has 19 different steps and it's really cool. Disney and our web code came together to create this awesome coding experience. You get to sail across the sea with Moana and Maui and fight the Kakamora. We did the first 10 steps in my last episode and today we will finish the remaining steps. We will get to the Kakamora Barge, defeat them and also I have a special surprise for you at the end. So, so exciting guys, but not to worry, all coding exercises have a common denominator. Watch the video, read the instructions, and do exactly what it says. But guys, before we start, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, click that notification button so that you never miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot. Please, 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 just hit that red subscribe button. I really need your help and support. So without further ado, let's get started. We will continue to use our of code or code.org to learn coding. Remember, it is an easy to understand method and I hope you like it. So grab your computer and follow me, step by step. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing. Practice makes perfect, they say. By the end of this video, each and every one of you should be able to code, no matter how small. Coding activates your brain and lets you have fun at the same time. I'll be sharing my screen right now, so without wasting your time, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. Okay guys, so I decided that I wanted to start off with a surprise, and the surprise is the Kakamura Dancers! I call them the Kakamura Dancers because these Kakamura sure can dance. They are amazing. Seriously, they are cute, but they are feisty. But just look at how cute they are! They're even more cute than they were in the movie! Anyways, let's see how these Kakamura dance in three! Two, one, go! Oh, look at this cute little Kakamora! They do like, ooh! Yay, Kakamora, go! They don't even know how to do it! They know how to do a front flip! This is just so cute! This is so good! Now, let's go on with the video! Let's go! So, as if you guys can remember, First, you need to go onto your browser, mine's Google, and type in Hour of Code. Let's just do that. Hour of Code. Once you click enter, you should see this webpage right here. Now, click on the first website you see. If you've done it before, it should be purple. Once you click on that, it should take you to this website, hourofcode.com slash us. Just click the white try it button. And once you click that, it should take you to the home page of games. There are so many games here, but you have to do something very special to find Moana. You have to click on grades 2 through 5. Once you click on that, just scroll down until you find Moana. It's all the way at the bottom for some reason. I just don't know why. Let's see. I think I'm almost there, guys. There it is. Just click, just click on that little Moana face and click the start button. And we should go over to this webpage right here. As you can see, Disney helped make it. Just click begin now. Once you click begin now, it should take you to the actual Moana coding site. Let's just wait for it to load for a second. So, now that it is done loading, you just need to click exit the video. Actually, since, you, since the video is already here, just watch that video. Once you're done, click the X button. Then you're going to see Moana and Maui talking. Just click that little arrow and click the number 11. It's on the top of your screen. Once you click the number 11, it should take you to the puzzle 11. Because in the last episode, we already did 1 through 10, so we don't need to do those again. Now, let's wait for it to load, and we will start. Now it's saying, choose which character will jump to the ship and attack the Kakamoros. Now, one second, my face cam is a little too big. My face cam is all fixed. Now, let's see who should we take to the Kakamura. Now, you guys can choose whichever one you want, Moana or Maui, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to choose Moana because that is my favorite character from the movie. 
And now Moana saying, I am Moana of Mata Nui, and I will defeat the Kakamura. Maui, you need to stay and safeguard the canoe. And then Maui said, go and be a hero. So now, what we need to do is, under the one run, we're going to put repeat two times. Then we're going to put move forward two times, and inside of that repeat two times. Remember guys, it has to be in this exact order. Then we're going to put dodge. Strike. And of course, turn right. Then let's click run in three, two, one. Now, as you can see, Moana is walking up to the Kakamara. She is dodging their seashells and she is whacking them with her or I think it's called. But the thing I'm always wondering is, do they actually hit the Kakumora, or do they just startle them by hitting the little... Yeah, I think they just... I think Moana just hits them, but Maui hits them on the, like, um, what's it called? On the, like, stools. Anyways, now that Moana has finished, she said, I will hit all of these coconut clad warriors. Ooh, good enthusiasm, Moana. Very nice. Just click that arrow button. Now, Moana says, Every Kakamura on this barge better watch out. I am Moana of Malta Nui, and those seashells are no match for me and my paddle. So it isn't called an oar. In the movie, they call it a paddle. Okay. Now, under the one run, we're going to put repeat three times. We're going to put two move forwards inside of that. Remember, it has to be in this exact order or it won't be correct. We're going to put a dodge under that, then strike. Then we're going to put a turn left instead of a turn right because Moana is facing the other way. Now, let's click run in 3, 2, 1. As you can see, Moana is walking with her... Uh, well, she calls it the panel. I was about to say or. She is dodging and she strikes it. Oh, that is so nice just watching her hit those coconut clad warriors. Because in the movie, they're actually really, really bad guys. So, I'm enjoying Moana just hitting them and winning. Because I don't really like them. The only thing I like about them is that they're awesome dancers and they're so cute. Anyways, let's move on to number 13. Just click that arrow button. Let's get it. Now what Moana is saying is that she's saying, One more Kakamura to defeat and now reach the ropes. Ooh, good job, Moana. Now, under the one run, as you can see, there is a repeat until Kakamura do. Now what you're going to do, you're going to put a move forward inside. Then under everything, under the repeat Kakamura, you're going to put a dodge. And a strike. Remember, it has to be in the exact same order it is on my screen or else you won't get it right. Let's just click run in 3, 2, 1. As you can see, Moana is walking with her paddle in her hand. And she gets to the Kakamura. And the Kakamura throws a seashell but misses and she whacks it. I actually enjoy it. As you can see, I actually enjoy her whacking them. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now Moana says, amazing. Next stop, to sail ropes. Just click that arrow button, guys. Now, as you can see, there is a video in front of you about conditionals. Remember to watch that video, then click the X button to join me with the coding. Now Moana says, oh no, the Kakamora are with starfish. If I can dodge those deadly starfish, the ropes won't stand a chance. Just click that arrow, and let's go. So, oh, this is just a straight line, so that'll be easy. So as you can see, it already says, repeat until rope do. Remember, to, they already did some of it for us. They put the move forward and the starfish. Don't change any of that. Just put a dodge inside of the if starfish do block. Then put a strike under everything. Remember, it has to be in this order for you guys to do it correctly. Now, let's press run in three, two, one. 
As you can see, Mulan is walking with her paddle. I just enjoy watching her walk and missing those um, starfish now. But now she hits the rope and she does it. That part of the barge is useless. But there's still a whole nother barge, so. Okay, she says, first rope cut, where are the others? Remember to hit that arrow button so that we can move on to number 15. Moana saying, I just need to stay focused and avoid those starfish. Good thing, Moana. We're going to help you with it. Right, guys? Let's just click that arrow button. And now, the Wayfinder's instructions are, cut the two nearby ropes using the if starfish block to dodge starfish from the Kakamora. Oh, that looks kind of easy. So all you need to do is put a move forward uh, inside of the repeat until rope. We're going to put an if starfish do block. And, of course, we're going to put a dodge. Then, what we're going to do, we are... You need to put a turn right block in, under the strike block. Because they already put strike for you. If they haven't, remember to put strike right in that area so you don't get it wrong. Then, what you're going to do, you're going to put a turn right. Let's just go all the way down. Take that turn right. Uh, and, let's move it up. Now, let's put that turn right under the strike block, and let's press run in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so she's walking, she's walking, and, oh, she misses, yes. Then she goes up, and she hits that rope. Good job, Moana. Then she turns right, and she goes to the other rope. Oh, I can see the starfish. They don't look so deadly. Oh, well. And she hits the rope. Good job, guys. You're doing so good. Okay, let's get. Now let's move on to number 16. Remember to hit that arrow button. Moana also said, oh, that was a tough one. Oh, look, Moana's proud of you with her paddle and everything. Just click that arrow button. Now Moana says... This is getting complicated, but no one can defeat Moana. There are three smaller ropes to cut until we get to the main sail ropes. Okay, Moana, I'll do what you say. Let's click that arrow button. Also, oh, there are three ropes this time. Well, she didn't tell us that. So, what we're going to do, first, let's read the Wayfinder's instructions. Keep cutting the ropes while dodging starfish, using the repeat until rope and the starfish block. If starfish block. Together. Okay, good to know. Now what we need to do, we're going to put a repeat three times. Then we're going to put a repeat until rope do inside of the repeat three times. I bet you guys haven't done that before. It actually means that um, once we get to the rope, we're going to do that three times since there are three ropes. Now let's put a move forward block and a if starfish block dodge because we need to make sure we don't get hit by one of those starfish. You know, Moana could get hurt. So, let's move that starfish under the move forward. Let's put a dodge inside of it. And then, we have to put a strike and turn left block, of course. So, let's do that. Where's the strike? It's right under this. It's so hard to get. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Good job, guys. Now, let's put the turn left. And let's press run in three... Two, one, run. Okay, we're looking at Moana. She is doing awesome, like always. And she is walking up to the Kakamora. Well, guys, I'll just come back once Moana is done cutting all these ropes. Now that Moana is done cutting the rope, she said, Amazing! Look, guys, Moana's even complimenting your good coding skills. Congratulations. Clap, clap, clap. Okay, Moana says the way to the rope for the main sail is clear. I need to get there fast before a Kakamura or anyone else or even worse, the leader of the Kakamuras come over to Moana and get mad at her. So let's click that arrow button and let's help Moana quickly. So the Wayfinder's instructions are go for the main sales ropes as fast as possible. Use the if path ahead block to do the right path. So, this is actually a little bit hard, but don't worry, I'll help you guys out with this one. 
So it says when run, repeat until rope do, and the new block if path ahead, do or else. So for the if path ahead, for the do, you're going to put move forward. For the else, you are going to put turn left. And then under all that, you're just going to put strike. Easiest puzzle ever. Now let's click run in three, two, one. Run. Look at Moana. Uh, for some reason, she keeps on like switching the paddle from hands whenever she needs to like turn left or right. See, she switches it, then she goes back to the other hand, starts walking. That I think that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Didn't you guys notice that? Well, whatever. Let's do it, Moana. You are so perfect. And she's not even falling off. Congratulations. She didn't fall off. Because seriously, good job, guys. Um, There's a ladder for some reason, but I'm just not going to talk about that ladder. I don't know what it's there for. Oh, it must be because the Kakumora is super duper tiny, so I need a ladder to get up there. Oh, well. She cut the rope, and now it's time to move on to the last rope, number 18. Remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Now I want to say, one more rope to go, and this barge will be useless. Good job, guys. You only have one more left. Now let's click that arrow and move on to number 18. Moana says, there is the final rope. Ooh, good eyesight. One more swing of my paddle and I'll be finished. Let's click that arrow button. Now the way for these instructions are, combine the, repeat, combine the repeat until rope and the if path ahead block to reach the final rope. Then strike it and render the Kakamura barge useless. Kakamura is still kind of hard for me to say if I'm reading it off the paper, but don't worry, let's move on. So combine, combine the un repeat until rope block. So that means we need to take the repeat until rope. And put under one. Then it says with the if path ahead block. Let's do that. And of course, we need to put a move forward on the do space and a turn left on the else space. Then, of course, just like the last puzzle, we are going to put the strike. Now, let's press run in three, two, one, run. Okay, the one is doing it. Look, it's so big though. Like. Why does it have to be like this and this and this? If the ladders are there for a reason, then can't you just like jump on the ladder and jump to the other ladder then climb to the rope? Eh, whatever. Let's go, Moana, let's go! Oh look, I see the water! So, which means our boat is nearby somewhere. Because I see the water. And the other ones, I didn't see the water as well. But look, you can see the water in all those little like boxes. Like the little rectangle boxes. Some of them are triangles. I know. Oh, I, I even see one that's in the shape of a mountain. Not just time to see shapes. But Moana's almost there. Go on, Moana. You can make it. She's not just walking. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing is wrong with this boat because it's about to be useless. I'm not scared of anything. But I actually do like that. So let's go, Moana. She's on the last thing. And she made it. Let's strike it. Let's see that final strike. Yes, Moana did it! And you guys helped her too! Congratulations! And Moana said, Yeah, woo! I am Moana of Matanui! <laughs> you guys did so well! Oh my gosh! Remember to hit the like and subscribe button! Now let's click that arrow to move on to number 19! Because we are on 19, that means that I get to teach you guys how I made the Kakamura dance. But before we do that, here's a congratulations. Just click play right there. And the next one. And then I'll get to the surprise. Oh, wait. Moana. <laughs> and Moana. Okay, Moana says, congratulations. You reached to the end of the set lesson. It's time to create your own Kakamura warrior dance using blocks. Just add the blocks to the to the workspace, and in your sequence, it could be any type you want. Like you could even make it like two blocks. It's a dance, and hit run to make the perform. So here's what I did. I put the handshake forward first, and basically I just made everything the same way it was already <laughs> ordered up. So let's just do that real quick. 
you can do any combination you want, guys. This is just the combination I like the most. Okay, because they already put it in this combination, so why not use it? Hmm? Hmm? Okay, let's just keep on going. Step forward, and there's going to be a step backward, I think. Yep, there is step backward. Then there is a step right and step left. Are there any other blocks left? Let's see. No! Why do they have all this empty space though? Anyways, there are no more blocks left. If you wanted to, you can make a repeat two, three times, but I don't want to do that. I just like the one time. Now it's time to press run in three, two, one. Oh, listen to this music and look up for more adventures. It just looks so cute. Especially this one with the red feathers. Like, he's the cutest one out of all of them. Can't you see? Like, his little eyes, even though they're all black. But this one looks so cute. And now, look at what the creators are saying to you. Congratulations. That Kogamora Gats is looking good. Hit the certificate button to get your certificate of completion. Let's hit that certificate button. Or if you want to keep on working on your dance, just click that or repeat button. And I clicked it too. Now I'm going to go on to the certificate button. Now look at this beauty, guys. You have your own certificate. Now look at this. So you can even print it out. It's a PDF. You can just write your name on it. And look at this. It's so pretty. Can't, don't you guys understand? This is so pretty. Anyways, that is it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, click that notification button so that you never miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot. Bye! See you next time! Bye!